What's going on guys? Welcome back. Chris here at Call of All Self Farm. Well guys, Mother Nature has forced me to do something that I said I would never do. Um, we've always enjoyed making our maple syrup the old-fashioned way. Uh, Wood-fired evaporator, very little technology, just doing it by hand, kind of old-school style. But this year, with the sugar content being so low, our boiling time has gone up incredibly. Uh, incredibly. I've boiled... Oh, probably about 20 hours to make five gallons of maple syrup, which is way too much. Uh, the sap, the sugar content of my sap right now is running around one to a little less than one. So it's extremely low. Um, normally it's two to three. So anyway, we had to, uh, we had to do something. We had to make a change. So what we did is we purchased a reverse osmosis uh, machine for uh, concentrating sap. So we got this up at Baskin's Maple. Um, it's a CDL Nano uh, Nano RO Max. So uh, I figured uh, we just got it home. Um, we're gonna take it out of the box, put it together, and uh, hopefully get going on um, concentrating some of our sap. We have several hundred gallons out there right now. Uh, let's go take a look and see how much we got exactly. All right, guys. So we're out here at the tanks, and we currently have. About 180 gallons in this tank and about 150 in this one. I'm actually working on draining this tank uh, down so that we can then run it through the RO. So we're working on that now. I'm just going to let it, should be slowly draining out. And uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go in the barn and uh, we'll get the RO assembled and uh, hopefully get it hooked up and see how she does. Alright guys, so we're back in the shop here, and uh, we're going to open this thing up and pull it out, and uh, let's get it assembled. I have to excuse the shop, it's a bit of a mess right now. Just in the middle of sugar and season, I haven't had time to really clean and put everything away. Because we have been really uh, going hard with the boiling the last four or five days. Uh, yesterday was the first day I've boiled it in several days, so a little bit of a mess. All right, so instruction manual, we will need that. And here's the unit itself accessory stuff. All right, guys, so here's the unit. As I said, it's a, a CDL Nano RO Max. Um, this is supposed to be good for 250 to 750 taps. We're right around 250 taps, so this should be more than enough for us. Um, but this was one of the smaller, more affordable ones. These things get very expensive. Um, and this one was actually quite affordable, so that's why we picked it up. It does have a smaller little brother that's good for people up to 150 taps. So 
I'm gonna take a, a quick look at the instruction manual and then we'll start putting this thing together. All right guys, so we've got the directions here and uh, we're gonna install the filter first, then the membranes, and then we'll figure out the piping. Um, this unit can be run in a two different ways. Uh, it can be run in like a batch mode where you recirc a tank and it can also be run um, from one tank to another. First thing we'll do is install the uh, pre-filter here. Go. And then one thing we're gonna have to do is once we do get this all set, we're gonna have to uh, rinse it really well before we put any sap through it. And there's procedures in all of this in the book here, um, doing batch, you can kind of see, and then um, concentrating one pass, batches, multiple passes, it'll basically just keep recirculating it. So we'll see. So now we got to install the membranes. Um, get that going. Right, guys so we got it all put together as I, I ended up stopping the video because I was getting a little frustrated but uh got it all put together we're doing a wash cycle now so we have everything set up it's running uh, we have about eight or ten minutes left we'll be done the wash cycle we'll do the rinse cycle um, I have a 40 gallon uh, stock tank outside ready to go um, all rinsed out so we'll rinse it good and then we can uh, put it in the tanks and uh, start making some concentrate so uh, it's working good so far, uh, no issues. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, it's actually the next day. Um, we actually had quite a bit of fights with this uh, unit last night, but I finally you know, took it all down, rinsed it out, and then took it in the shop and found the problem. Basically what had happened was there was a gasket piece stuck in the check valve. So it wasn't allowing it to recirc properly this was a little piece that was in there i don't have any idea what it's from it doesn't look like any of the other fittings i'm guessing it could have been something from when it was built is my guess i mean it couldn't go through all this so so we got that out and uh fired it up this morning and uh it's it's actually running pretty well um i am not getting the max pressure out of it that it's rated for i'm only it's got set about 130. it says it's good for 150 but if I close the valve anymore, it pretty much just shuts it off. So I think that's going to be it is like 130 is going to be our number. And uh, 
it's basically taking our sap right now is about one percent and it's coming out at about three percent so it's doing its job it's definitely concentrating it down so what i'll most likely do is i'll get the two tanks here um concentrated into the the tower tank and then i'll recirc the tower tank for a little while and sweeten it up a little bit more um I don't know if it's going to get warm enough for the sap to run today. It was not yesterday. So we got a little bit of time to kind of play with this before we're going to get another big sap run where we're going to need this thing running uh, a lot. So so anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm excited, you know, and kind of bummed in a way for this unit. Like I said, I like to be old school and kind of do it the, the old fashioned way. But unfortunately, Mother Nature is not cooperating this year and I don't want to spend the next three weeks or four weeks in the sugar house you know almost constantly so this was this was our best bet so anyway guys like i like to say if you like these videos please subscribe hit the like button and leave us a comment tell us what you think and just remember it'll be all right